guys, it's Kipchi! And Tofu! Yeah! yeah. Alright guys, we're going into Tower God, episode number 3. Here we go, so we got more clarification with the whole regular and irregular. Regulars are the ones that are in that world, the yes. tower world, right? Which tower consists of three, the outer, inner, and the middle that connects it. So the regulars are already prepared to climb the tower and play these games, I yes. guess, right? Whereas the irregular, they're different. They're not from this world, they're not invited. They bend the rules. Mm -hmm. They, yeah, so basically, I, yeah, irregulars are people that does anything their own way with, who are not invited to the to the game. So basically, I guess if you look at it, if you're playing a round of, I don't know, a League of Legends tournament and yeah. all gold members are invited and then all of a sudden this diamond or platinum freaking masters guy comes in, forces his way in and just starts destroying everybody. I guess that's what irregulars are. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> okay. That's, I guess that's what regulars and difference between irregulars and irregulars are. Whereas irregulars are invited, and they live in that world. Irregulars, they're not invited, and they force their way in. And don't live in that world. They don't live in that world, and they're very, very powerful as well. So, But also, I am a little bit confused with the hand-grabbing uh, BAM, though. Because BAM is an irregular, but the hand, it looked like it the hand invited brought him. him. Yeah. It brought it him. It didn't look like he was going in there out of sheer will. Yes. Basically. Yeah. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but cool. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We are going to episode number three. Hope you guys had a great day. Tofu, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Let's go. Time to get our K-pop on. <laughs> See, now every single reaction, I'm going to be doing the same thing as Shield Hero. Shield Hero, yeah. every reaction. Oh, 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 oh. I definitely could rock out to this in my car. Kimchi in tower and then kimchi and tofu. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa. Girls can be chosen to be princesses? What do you mean, girl, girls can be chosen? You, you see a lot of girls. <clears throat> whoa. Wait. That's the mother. This oh. is his first time seeing the sky. He doesn't know what a sky is. Wow, so wherever he came from with the Rachel, remember in the first episode they were inside that little cave? Yeah. So this guy's never been outdoors or something? I guess not. Oh, this is fake. So that explains why Rachel wants to see the stars. I'm like, wait, what? Blue Turtle has me curious. That's right. Oh, whatever this next test is. Oh, whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, dude. What, what test is this? This is scary. This thing is creepy. Oh, whoa, what the whoa. hell? Is that a freaking balloon? Yeah. Time. Time? So they have to be under five minutes or something bad's gonna really, something bad's gonna happen, yeah. Oh. A plastic bag? Yeah, a fluorescent plastic bag. Oh, wow. He knows who he, he knows is. About his oh, he's oh. gonna pop the balloon. Alright, turtle, turtle crew. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's a big clock. That was a guy, too. 
<laughs> yeah. That was a girl. Wait, this is 10 minutes. What is it? And those were the screams that we were hearing. So, wait, 5 or 10 minutes? Oh, time's ticking. Oh. What is inside? Yeah, this guy doesn't like to think. <laughs> wait, he needs to shut up for a second. Oh no! Is he going to go attack? Oh, okay, no, I was like, dude. I thought this director would be drinking something nicer than that. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Huh? Wow, so there's a lot of like weird rumors going on with him and the sister. Yeah. Oh, they're thinking about their lovers. Or people they care about. Oh shoot, it's almost five minutes. Oh shoot, he already opened one! Just go in! Go in! They got it? Instinct. <laughs> That's it? It's to open a door within five minutes. Any door. Oh. So thinking too much puts you at a loss. <laughs> now he's the genius of the crew. Because <laughs> this test requires no brain. You just, just go. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So he needs people to lean on. So that was complete opposite of what he was thinking. Cause he's... Is that like metaphorical? <laughs> Not only a heavy bag, but like a heavy weight on his shoulders. Shoulders, yeah. <laughs> Let's see how these guys get through. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, so it is five minutes. Oh, wait. He instructed him to tell him the clue. Oh. So I think it was more for Kun. Because it hindered Kun. Oh my. Holy cow, what the hell? What? Oh shoot! All the rings in 30 minutes? Wait. That's scary! That's the first day, don't, don't they usually have 400 regulars? <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> that guy's full of himself. <laughs> <laughs> All like banana drinks. Oh, what? Ooh. <laughs> Call me the leader. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks just as ordinary as them. <laughs> みなさんにとても素敵なお知らせがあります。素敵なお知らせ与えられました。あのテストが増えるとか、おっとじゃありませんが、第一参加は自由、不参加でも不利益を被ることで手繰り。おお、パスオールテスト。そしてそれにパス
<laughs> Wait, they're not letting them go? No, it's one. Oh, one at, two. Yeah. Okay. One at a time. <laughs> what a. Dude, yeah, it looks like she could take care of them herself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy looks like a Levi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wow. This is so easy for her. Whoa, is that sword reacting to it? What yeah, the heck? that's what it looks like. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she didn't even move. Flinch. No. Her head is that strong? Wow, she's really strong even without that sword. Oh, they're running? To the crown? Yeah, that's wow. right. Get to the crown first. <laughs> oh gosh, she's scary. <laughs> Freaking Dora the Explorer and Tower of God. <laughs> <laughs> she's making them fight! What? What? Shouldn't she be fighting? Oh, yes, these it guys. Is. That is Rachel. It has, she has that a red dress. Rachel. It has the red dress. The oh, shoot. It is Rachel. Oh, my God. You're right. <laughs> what? Wait, what the hell? Damn, you're right. That That is Rachel. Yeah. Damn. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. You got it right. All right. So this whole thing, we get a backstory of Kun. And it looks like his sister is... Mm -hmm. is uh, well, I'm confused. He has a half sister that was chosen. Yeah, so he I guess he has two sisters. He has one full blood sister and then one half sister. Okay. And we don't get the full blooded sister's name. We just get the half sister. Her name is Maria. Maria. And Maria gets chosen because he helps her. Right. And because he helped her, uh, she was chosen. And then his family got exiled because I guess they're not full blood. Oh, I see. So he helped Maria, mm -hmm. but then at the end, it turned back on him. Yes. Because his real sister couldn't get chosen. And yes. that's where all the rumors with his love incest story with him and his sister came uh, about, right? Yeah, it came about. But then when you're looking at it, He's like about to hold her hand or something, so right. maybe they did have incest. I probably, probably they I, did. Yeah. You know, they, they they had some they have some kind of love relationship going on, I guess. I I wonder if it's because the mom doesn't think that there was incest or something, or it's because he trusted the half sister so much that that's what led to the family's ruin. So the mom says. Don't that's listen right. And yeah. You know, don't love. Because he did kind of get betrayed. He did. He did get betrayed at the yes. end because he was just basically used. Yes. Yeah, used in this situation. So now we understand why Kun was well known. Why he was pop. Why a lot of people knew about Kun. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's where we get it. Oh. That's why Letter Rose said not to trust Kun is because he betrayed his family. That's right. So now we're seeing something where it's like Little Rose tells Bam not to trust Kun, and Ch Kun is having this flashback where his mother tells don't trust anybody. Yes. Too. So it's like they are, they're, we're gonna be seeing some trust issues. Uh, yeah. Well, it looks like yeah he has trust issues. Uh, Bam might yeah. He might have some kind of trust issue. The more Little Rose starts keep uh the more Little Rose keeps talking in his ear. So that's why they told the balloon guy. To go tell Kun the hint to see how he hinders work. How, yeah, how he reacts to it. Does it help him or does it hinder him? Does it hinder him? And it almost actually hindered him because during the test, the flashback did come back. It did hinder him. It did hinder him. But luckily, they had Gator. Who doesn't really think. Yes. Because thinking in this test would be the enemy. Yes. You're not supposed to think. You're supposed to just trust in each other, I guess. Mm -hmm. The and teammates. Yes, they're just supposed to trust and go. That's why they wanted to test Kun, especially on this test, because this test required trust. Yes. But thankfully, Gator is there because that guy don't think and he just does not an instinct. That's why it kind of helped the whole situation out. And I think Yuhan kind of likes Kun, Kun uh -huh. because he told him you need your teammates to, uh, 
you need your teammates so that you can be able to rely on them for times that you need to trust because you don't trust. But in the beginning, on the first test where we first encounter Kun, Kun is like, I'm not here to fight anybody. I'm here to make teammates. Yes. You see? He's trying to get teammates to be able to go up, but I think it's because he's just going to use them. That's what he's, what he's going to do, uh, what he's oh. been through. He's going to try using them. Yes, sorry. Yeah, so actually you don't want to trust him because of what his mother said. That's true. So that that's what we're seeing some conflict in here. Yes, because when they get to the top, if it becomes like just one on one with each of them, if they can betray each other, they will. And also, I was a little bit confused with uh, Rachel wants to see the stars. I'm like, yeah, yeah, cool. Like she wants to go see the stars. I'm like, man, do you? Is that really part of a wish to go see stars? Right? How would you feel if you only could look up at this ceiling every single day and you couldn't look at? The outside sky. But we didn't know about that till this episode. That the sky was imitation. It wasn't a real sky. That was Bam's first time even seeing an imitation of a sky. Of a sky. He, he's never seen anything, period. Exactly. So they've never seen a sky. They've never seen stars. And they've never even seen the imitation of it. So that's it does make sense for her to want to see that. Yeah. For me, before this episode, I was just like, wait, what? why does she want to look at stars? That's my thing. Oh. It's like, you know, she, she wants to take a closer look at the stars. You know, I, I don't know if I mentioned it in the past reactions where I was just like, stars? Like, you know, oh. is that really a desire for anybody? But then now looking here, it says, whether you're a regular or irregular, regulars don't see skies. They don't have a sky. They, they just have the imitation of a sky. Yeah, they have the imitation where irregulars get nothing, period. Irregulars don't get anything, period? Yeah. Ah. Well, at least Bam's never seen anything. You remember? At he least was in Bam. A, yeah, he was in a cave. So I'm assuming Rachel's never seen anything as well. Right. Rachel is very confusing. She's uh, very confusing. She's confusing because she knows all of this information on top of it, saved Bam, and then is going up to see this guy. And then now she's in with this killer crew. That's the confusing part. She entered the door before Bam. Yes. And she's taking the test after Bam. Yeah, she just barely passed the first test. Yeah, so th that's what I'm confused. It's that she entered first, yet she she's enters the behind. test. She's behind Bam. Yeah, she's behind on the test. But um, it looks like if she wins this test, she gets to go up right away and see the star. She gets her wish. Well, she has a very strong team. Yeah. And this team wiped out everybody uh, the, I'm guessing that the first test already consists of 400 regulars. So if they're the only ones left, they literally killed 397 of them. She's an irregular too. She's an irregular. Yeah, isn't she an irregular? Yeah, because she was with Bam. She's with Bam. So she... She has to be super strong as well. She has to be super strong, but her how her team formed... Why they killed all 397. How they killed them, I want to know. Yeah, how they... Well, I mean, you already saw what they the weapons they have. They, the yeah. size, all right? They, they look like they're pretty strong. But I want to see how strong Rachel is. We're going to see that in the next episode because Rachel's already here. Yes. And Bam already knows he's here. Yes. So if... She's here. I, I feel like this is really bad because her... What she wants... She wants to win. She wants to go to the top. Yeah. And for Bam, he just wants to see Rachel. He just wants to be with Rachel. So is he going to give up if they go against each other just so that she can get her wish? Or are they going to fight each other? Oh, man. I don't know. That's... Because I feel like she will fight him or tell him to give up. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Because I, what I was expecting Rachel and Bam to meet was... A, later down the episodes. Me too. Not four episodes. Not now. Yeah. This is way too soon. This is way too soon. So... So they're adding a conflict right away. It, it seems like Rachel's the three-man team. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm very curious to how they even formed. Like, you know, because we saw how these guys formed. They just were next to each other and the closest yes. person gets formed. Whereas this one, this looks like it was almost pre-made. And they just went like, all right, let's just kill everybody. We'll find out. Right? I hope we find out. Yeah, if it's pre-made or something. Yes, because they're all wearing the same cloaks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It looks like it's already pre-made. It was pre-made, but then, you know what is confusing, though? is because I, 
feel like she's irregular because she was living with Bam. She was in that same world with Bam. But then the test, the, the test makers said that they didn't see any irregulars, that it was just all regulars. Yeah, Ra- yeah. This is why Rachel's a little bit confusing. Yeah. Especially after this episode. She's a wild card. She's a wild card because she, I mean, the, the, the feeling you get with Rachel is this innocent girl. Mm-hmm. Right, wants to go see the stars. Yes, just that alone is a confusing because it's like, what is she gonna do? Right, this little this girl, right? She's gonna enter the tower of God, and she looks like she could barely fight. But how innocent is she? Because she saved Bam. She saved Bam from this place that he was trapped in. Right, and then she left him too. She just wiped away his tears right. and then left and said, "I'm leaving. I want to go see the stars." Right. So, I feel like she's pretty strong. She, she, she's she okay. got a strong mindset. I, I don't I don't know about strong or strong will. I think she's just really savage. She's not going to stop at anything to get what she wants. Yeah, savage. Right? Yeah. Because she doesn't look like the type of girl that would kill all those people. I no, mean, she doesn't look like it, but the way that her mind or the way that they've developed this character, mm-hmm. it does seem like she would. <laughs> At first, yeah, we thought she was innocent, but now after seeing this, okay, we know she's ruthless. She's really all in. She's ruthless. She she's, is. She's all in. Yeah. I'm not sure if it showed a part or glimpse of her, because we did see her and a crew. Um, I mean, the one that really caught my eye was the big guy in the middle with the two huge swords. Yes. But I'm not sure if Rachel had a sword and there was blood on it. So just to kind of confirm that she is part of the ones that's killing everybody, yeah. not only just relying on those guys. Yeah, the, we don't know because they're all cloaked. And then after we got to see a sneak peek of her blonde hair and then later on got to see her clothes to confirm that she is in that group. That's why I couldn't believe it was Rachel because for the the image I have for Rachel is not this. It's not yes. this. Uh, it's completely far from this. Yeah. And to see her in this black coat with them, kill. not only did they just, you know, kill a couple, they, they killed, killed everybody. Everybody. Scary. That's, yeah, that Rachel's scary. What the hell? Yeah. What, what's going on with Rachel? And then we get into the fourth test, which is basically like a capture the flag. Um, yeah. King, king or something. I, I, I don't know. But then, yeah, it's like basically like that. But then instead of all teams going at a battle royale, it's one at a time. Yes. It, yeah. So it's two teams, uh, going against each other, and then yeah. Yeah. So they have going to one fight at each a time. Other. I think this is fun, and we get to see how strong that lizard girl is. We already see how strong she is. Well, we knew how strong her sword was, but we didn't know how strong her character was. Her body was, was, Her body, her head is rock hard, and she's got some really good fighting skills. Yeah, she does. She's very well... Yeah, she's... She's She looks like she's probably the strongest one over there. Yes. (laughs) But then she's the one with the crown, said, you guys fight for me. (laughs) Yeah, but she said, don't worry, I'm not going to let anybody take it from me. That's true, that's true. And another thing, Bam's sword reacted to her sword. Now we're going to see how the swords will react when they start clashing with each other. That will be fun. You know? All right. Well, cool. That was uh, Tower of God, episode number three. Yeah. Guys, and we're on stage four. Already with Bam and Rachel. Yes. Something I, I did not expect. This. There's a lot of things I did not expect from this episode to happen. It kind of twisted a lot of the things that I Im- imagine for a lot of things. Yeah. But so, yeah, yeah this, this is interesting. So... Boom. All right, guys, that was uh, Tower of God, episode number three. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you guys very soon for episode number four. Till then, have a great day, and we will see you next time. Yeah, all right. Bye. Bye.